okay, so you've created a few farms and you want to create another farm in the same neighborhood. So you just happen to use the same address that you've used before. You can go ahead and do that. Just remember that you can't name two farms the same. So this one we're going to go ahead and name it Uni Park North. Once you hit save and OK, you're going to come back to the same map. But because you've made other farms in that area, you're going to see the areas that you've already farmed out before with gray stamps and little information icons. This is so that you identify where you've already drawn some shapes. What the information icons allow you to do is to click on one of them and it'll give you the farm name and all the activity and when the last time you were there. So you can identify whether you need to even create another farm or go back to the one that you've already created and meet the rest of the homeowners. Because we're really trying to work towards knocking for quality over quantity. But if you wanted to draw another farm, you'll be able to do that by drawing directly adjacent to it. And you can even cross over and get into it. You can overlap with no problem. Just understand that the data that you draw does not come over when you overlap. It's all new data. So we're going to go ahead and close the shape here. 46 properties. OK. Get the pins. And the records are there. And now those are all going to be on your phone as well.